this video is going to be about the differences and the similarities of covert narcissist and overt narcissist and probably I am not going to figure out everything in this one video but I will have a uh, part 2 and part 3 and part 4 and part 5 like uh, on this subject I will have a few other parts of videos on this subject because they do have some similarities some differences between covert narcissist and overt narcissist so let's talk about number one and uh, about their mask and their image to the society so I think the covert narcissist, narcissist is more successful on being seen as a good person by the society or community because yeah the covert narcissist the covert narcissist narcissist they really hide themselves and they really care about their image and in the in the community and uh, their mask is better than the co than the overt one the overt would like to be like the covert they would like to have a good mask good image and a little bit respected and loved by their community but yeah a lot of people just know uh, that the overt narcissist is bad person but most people they don't know that the covert narcissist is a bad person because the covert narcissist they have a fewer fewer people to abuse than the overt one the overt have more people to abuse than the covert one so that right there is one difference the covert is more focused on their image, being a good person, looking like a good person, and a good mask. And covert narcissists, it will take you a very, very long time to find out that this person is a narcissist. And, but the overt narcissist, I think, will save you time. And you will find out that this person, something is wrong with them. They are negative. They are abusive. It will take you less time for you to find out that the overt narcissist is abusive. But the covert, the, it will take long time. Very long. Because they are a little bit more complicated. When it comes to their abuse, and when an overt narcissist abuses you, you can at least explain it to other people. They will understand a little bit more than the covert one. When a covert narcissist abuses you, it will be very complicated. It will be covert. It's not only their personality what they hide and what they cover as a covert narcissist even their abuse is covert so it will be very hard for you to identify whether this is abuse or not they are more complicated and confusing the covert narcissist is more complicated and confusing and frustrating than the overt one if the overt narcissist abuses you it will be completely clear i think it will be much better for you to identify what's abuse what's not what's going on with the covert narcissist they are more confusing they are more complicated more frustrating and more mathematic uh, it's they are mathematical for you to just figure them out they, they are physics the covert narcissist is a subject they are physics they are chemistry they are maths they are too much to, for you to figure out whether you have been abused or not because they are covert so for me I think the covert is bad because 
they most people think that they are good they will waste years of your life so much time of your life for you to figure out that they are a narcissist even when they abuse you they, when they abuse you they will it will be very complicated for you to find out what is abuse what is not because everything is a covert because this person is a covert narcissist and i even heard on a lot of other channels that when overt narcissist abuse you they will be like okay i abused you whether you like it or not that is that but when a covert narcissist abuses you i heard that they will deny it um, they both deny but the covert narcissist will completely deny that they have abused you and they will act like that they are the victim they basically believe that they are the victim after they even have done everything they have done even though covert narcissist overt narcissist they have more similarities than differences and even psychopaths and sociopaths and narcissists whether it's covert or overt or malignant all of these disorders i heard in so many other channels and i watch a lot of videos that most of these disorders they do have more similarities than differences the differences that they have is a little bit but the similarities that they have is a lot most of them are sickening and most of them are the same the difference is a little bit they don't have that much difference they are all diseases that are very dangerous to our humanity